Welcome back to Raccoon Tweeties. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about um, Chat GPT. Is that how you say it? GPT? I don't really know much about Chat GPT. I think that's the right way to say it, though. I think so. And then some deep fakes. We're going to go into deep fakes. So, well, the deep fakes is called Mid Journey, the one that you use. Yes. Yeah. I wonder I use if Mid Journey. I wonder if the one that I had that I tweeted about is also Mid Journey. Is that the popular one? How did you get those uh, pictures? I saw an article in the New York Post that said, like, uh, when Trump was going to get, like, arrested or whatever, they a bunch of people were doing deep fakes, and New York Post said that people are convinced that these deep fakes are real. It took the internet by storm, so I just took them out and said a bunch of stuff about mics and stuff. Yeah. Can you pull up my Twitter to take a look at it? Yeah. Let me see here. Uh, so not that one. That's... Biden, but okay. So there, here's the first uh, deep fake. This is like Trump getting arrested by the cops. It's clearly fake, right? You look at that. There's no chance you'd think that was real, right? Well, it looks like to me it's from Mid Journey because it has like the stroke thing that Mid Journey kind of does. Yes. It's kind of like the resolution is yeah. uh, smaller than it's blown up to be. Is that done on purpose to make you know that it's fake or what? Um, for sure, Mid Journey doesn't allow certain things. Like, mm -hmm. if you tell Mid Journey make a poster that says Raccoon Tweeties, yeah, it will not say Raccoon Tweeties. Why? They just, I think they have like things in place to not let you use it for just straight advertising. Like, so they know every podcast name. No, just if you tell it to write any word. Oh, it won't. It's write not about words. just. Pod, it's not trying to <laughs> yeah, tear like, down podcasts. <laughs> it's an app designed to destroy podcasting. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some people would like that. Some people don't like podcasts, but uh, what did I mean just then? I don't know. But this, so that, yeah, it's, that's fake too, right? And then this is another one. It's Melania when she's screaming. I say when Flappers is out of Flappy Fries. <laughs> but that's just my friend. That's not deep fake. And then this one where Trump's crying, it also looks very fake, right? I like this one. Thank you. But it does look, it looks fucking authentically like kind of real in a weird way. I could see it um, getting some, yes, you're right. But I could also, I could see it can like uh, convincing somebody that's not too smart, you know, that they would think it was real, like a dumb person. Yeah. That one, I don't know if it's real or not. I think that's just him falling out, falling down the stairs or something. Oh, Joe Biden? Yeah. And I just thought that that line of when people, when white people hear Cotton Eye Joe or whatever it says, when people, white people, when Cotton Eye Joe comes on. Yeah. That yeah. made me laugh. That's pretty funny. I'm going to try to make something right now. Yeah. Keep talking. So um, while you're making that, there's one other one I wanted to look at, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so scroll up a little bit more. This is the one that tricked me. So all the way to the top. Oh. Right here. This one. Oh, my God. So that's me, right? And I say the Pope of Flappers Claremont. It's just a bit. But there's the real one of the Pope in that jacket. I thought it was real. Yeah. I guess. Did you see that picture? No. You didn't? It looks real to me. And you maybe pull up like Pope Puffy Jacket. Okay. Google search that. Because when I saw that, I really thought that that was the Pope in like a puffer jacket. Let me see. And I don't know if I'm redacted or what, but I thought it was him. That one? Yeah. Here. Doesn't that look kind of, I mean, like it doesn't seem crazy for the Pope to wear something like that. Um, nah, not really. Right? So that's what I'm like when people are like, oh, these deep fakes are getting too real. It's scary. Okay. I can see so that. I just made uh, AI art right now. I put Donald Trump speaking with Brendan Cooney. <laughs> so let's see what you think about this, dude. Which one's you? This one up here. Probably the closest. So what? Is, what is <laughs> they just pick like an, a standard Irish guy or something? Yeah. But wow, see, that's pretty close. But see, what you got to do is, so I don't know if you guys know about this, but it, it's my fucking new fascination. I actually pay to use Mid Journey because okay. I love using it so much. Yeah. I have a lot of Sasquatches at parties. Uh, Sasquatch is my favorite thing to look up, really. But mm -hmm. let me. I know you told me some of the Sasquatch things. Donald Trump uh, talking to Brendan Cooney. Photo realistic. 8K. What else should I say? I think that's enough. Uh, bald Brendan Cooney. Bald Brendan Cooney. Yeah, bald. That's good. That's good. Bald ginger man. Let's, Let's do see. that and then do Donald Trump talking to, after this one, Yeah. do Donald Trump talking to Bill Burr to see if it's close. Like okay. If, what if it was the same picture? Yeah. 
Okay, bald ginger Brendan Cooney, photorealistic 8K, cinematic, soft lighting. How do you know about all these tags that you're doing? I'm obsessed. So you learn them from what? Uh, forums, like oh, Reddit like- forums and whatnot. Like, you know the <laughs> internet, right? You know the internet? Shut up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't you don't do the whole thing where you stare at the screen waiting for it to show up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah I'm. I'm. Minute. Yeah, that. that. Oh, God. <laughs> wait! Stop! Stop looking away. Look away. Oh my God! It's gotta, just so bad. I gotta hide it. Yeah, yeah the reveal. <laughs> I'm just so curious to see whether the Bill Burr one is similar to that. Okay, I have it. I have it ready to go. Because I have a bunch I did now. After that, we'll do like Bill Burr and um, John Belushi, and then Gerardo Alarcon. <laughs> whoa! 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 Wait, can we see that? Can you blow it up? Yeah, one second. It's not done yet. It's still going. Oh, it's still going? How yeah. do you know when it's done? You'll hear the badoon. I see. Oh, the Discord. Yeah. I thought that was somebody messaging you. I thought it was like another person posting a picture in ECMO. I mm-hmm. All my notifications from Discord are ECMO notifications. Hell yeah, they are, up, dude. Blowing up. <laughs> but uh, Donald, yeah, Donald Trump talking to to Bill Burr to see how quick or how similar it is. Why is it four photos? They give uh, you four so options to you pick from. So you got to choose, yeah. Which one you want so to? So out of these four, which ones do you, you look more like this guy, huh? No. I actually know. I think the bottom left. Bottom left, that's you. Okay, so we go like here to uh, upscale three, uh-huh. right? Boom. I can also make variations of number three. So boom, variation. So now I got too many jobs working right. at the same time. But um, this will start after this one's finished. I put Donald Trump in a wheelchair, by the way. Why? Because <laughs> I just, I don't know why. It, make, it gives you like a full body shot. Oh, is that, like like, an, is that something you saw on Reddit? And like it gave no, you advice? No, it's just experience. I've done literally probably thousands of these prompts just fucking around all day long. For no reason, just to have fun. It's it's for one main reason, dude. Why is that? To keep myself from jumping off a bridge, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking you said you're an artist. You're just doing art. You can't stop from doing art. Yeah. Okay, so this one suffers from the uncanny valley. Uh, as you can see, Bill Burr looks kind of psychotic up here. I don't know why there's a floating They're microphone. They're both in wheelchairs. They're both in wheelchairs. He's missing legs here. Uh, this, I don't know why. Donald Trump just had a really good joke and Bill Burr lost it. Do them not in a wheelchair. Okay. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it is pretty similar, I would say. Do, uh, all right, let's get, let's go, let's not do the wheelchair thing. We've, we've run through that. Do, um, Gerardo Alarcon and Brendan Cooney. Okay. Gerard- oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, Gerardo Alarcon and uh, Brendan Cooney. Boom. Okay. And then we'll wait for that to do. Um, but yeah, that does kind of look like me though, right? No. No? That looks like you if you were Justin Turner from the Boston Red Sox. <laughs> Somebody said I looked like him once when I was wearing a Dodgers cap because <laughs> I had a big beard. Yeah. They're like, you're... Or maybe, I don't even know if they said that. I think it was just like after they won, I was like red hair solidarity or some stupid bit. Yeah. I don't know why it shows people with, in front of pictures of other people. You <laughs> kind of look like Brendan Chop a little bit. Okay. Well, yeah, none of these weren't, these weren't as good. Maybe it has to be, maybe you have to write bald Brendan Cooney or something. Yeah. I don't know. These are, do not, none of them look like, this guy look, kind of looks like me, a little chunky right here. <laughs> it looks like, uh, yeah, m- more like Joel actually. Yeah, I don't know why we are in boxing. It looks like yeah, Dustin Poirier and like <laughs> in the. I like how in the top right one we're both uh, Latino. Yeah. <laughs> 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 or I guess I'm the left on that one. That's my. Guess. I'm Black Irish, maybe. I guess Black You're, Irish, probably. This is what you got to do. Uh, imagine chubby Latino male with. Genius, bald. Genius, bald. Red-haired guy. Red-haired uh, golem, right? <laughs> <laughs> red-haired. That'd be funny if you put, go- like, re- if you just put red-haired golem and it was a picture of me. Like, not, like, yeah. totally. The dude, re- ju- dude, just red-haired golem. Well, let's do this first. Realistic. This is too much fun. 8K. I t- dude, this is why I pay $10 a month to this, fucking do yeah, this Yeah, I like it. Realistic 8K. Um... Uh, there's different styles you can do, but let's mm-hmm. not get in the weeds yet. Sure. Realistic 8K. Boom. All right, that one's cooking up, so you, you got to say something while this is This is better up. than, like, chat GPT, because my problem with chat GPT is, like, who cares? Yeah. People constantly are posting on, like, I got chat GPT to do the script for me, and then it's, like, boring. Yeah. 
It's me and my friend talking about whatever. See, when you started talking shit about ChatGPT, I was like, you don't know what you're talking about, dude. Because I what? spoke to ChatGPT for a whole night one night. You mean you just spoke to it? What yeah, because mean? people use it for scripts and whatnot, but it's meant to be a dialogue platform. It's meant to be like you're having a dialogue with a computer. Oh, well, cool. I don't. I mean, I don't know what it's like to be a lonely person and just yeah. talk to it all night. Well, Is no, it's any- impressive. Instead of being like, uh, instead of being fucking lazy as shit and not wanting to write a script, why don't you like- It, it writes imp- for you. Yeah, but no, I'm saying that's not, that's people lazy. go to it for that, but what you should be doing is speaking to a computer that can speak back. That's crazy. Why that's wouldn't fucking you just insane. talk to human beings? <clears throat> well, no shit, Sherlock. I'm fuck- I have friends, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> I'm telling you what the function of the fucking chat GPT is supposed to be. Look, I want to get you friends. No, 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 no. Why don't like, you just invite over Miguel? You don't understand what- people you can use these things for, right? Right. These things are meant to be a way of, I don't know, fucking being impressed by somebody else's creation, you know? All I've seen people do on it is like cover letter. They're like, I got, I did a cover letter for me, which is like the easiest thing to do. All you got to do is cop. You're basically being chat GPT when you write a cover letter. Yeah. At this job, I learned this. I think I'd be great for your job at that. It's like, oh, that's not impressive to me that I can write a cover letter. Yeah. I don't understand the, what's great about it. Yeah. Um, well, what is well, what did what did the chat GPT say to you that was like, yo, man, that's it's good, hilarious, dude. It's like you it's just funny it, when you, you talk to it. Yeah, you tell it, you ask it to do. I'm not going to talk about what I did though, because that's that's why secret. It was so it's just funny. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, was it like can, was Chat GPT like therapy or something? No, dude. Who do you think I am? I'm just worried that it's reinforcing negative things for you. No, no. You no, type no, in no. a jet. Should I kill so and so? And the Chat GPT no. is like, yeah, you should, and it should be painful for them. No. At first, you say like, <laughs> what is like infinity, and then it's just like trying to explain to you what infinity is. That's what I did, and then so it's I like went, Google. No, I don't know. What you, no, I don't know. Isn't that what Google does? No, but it's like explain to me what infinity is as like as like a human th- is on the other line of this machine thing. I don't want to talk about it anymore if you're not going to fucking give me any sort of credence to what I'm saying here. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just asking. Yeah. I mean, you're very close. You have a good friendship with ChatGPT. I mean, no harm to your robot friend. Well, I didn't. I only used the free trial. I didn't fucking like Mid Journey. Right. On the other hand, is like fucking sick as shit. I could literally yeah. be on my computer for twelve hours just fucking with just making pictures of Sasquatch. Yep. Do you ever have you ever done Sasquatch um, attacking someone you don't like? No, no, no. Just uh, three dudes uh, as astronauts in wheelchairs in space. That one's the best one that we made so far. But that wasn't even mine. That was Joel's. <laughs> what the, and the wheelchair thing is so you can get a full body of the people. No, because our my other podcast is like Joel has a fascination with wheelchairs. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's true. But uh, what my best creation has been uh-huh. is Polaroids of Sasquatch. So, like, you put it in a pol- Polaroid style, Sasquatch at a house party, and then hilarity ensues, dude. Do you think do you think Sasquatch is real? Um, I want it to be real. I mm, I don't know. I think. Uh, do you think there's a chance it's real? No, I I find the people that look for Sasquatch endearing and very positive and. Um, I don't know how else to say it, but just the optimism of those people makes me very happy. Like so I TV would shows? rather be a Sasquatcher than somebody that doesn't believe in Sasquatch. Yeah, we, but you don't. But you don't believe in Sasquatch. I would rather believe in Sasquatch than not. Right, but you. So you're saying <laughs> logically, I probably don't believe in Sasquatch. That's what I was going. You see, so you don't believe in Sasquatch, but you want to be somebody that believes in Sasquatch because that's like be kind of fun or like it's like a child, like a. It's a childish imagination type. Yeah, ch- yeah. like saying in touch with your kid-like yeah. stuff. Okay. There's one man named Bobo, and I think I showed you him before. <laughs> Bobo? Yes. Okay. Bobo is hilarious, dude. Is Bo- Let me guess what Bobo is. Bobo like a Southern guy? He's a Sasquatch uh, believer, I guess. But he's also very attracted to the ladies, dude. Oh, is he going on there saying baddie when he see? How do you know he's attracted to the ladies? <laughs> Check out his Instagram, dude. <laughs> so it's just him talking. To, it's like him... Posting pictures of where Sasquatch might be and then also hot chicks? Or? He's an unattractive man. He posts to his Instagram saying, better watch out for your local women because I'm in town kind of thing. Right. It's like saying the town that he's in. Okay. And it's like, oh, Bobo, you're so cute. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, but he's not going to probably yeah. get too many women yeah. talking about uh, Sasquatch or whatever. 
Um, but have you he, shared anything? With, have you ever connected with him online? Bobo? I wish to. I do wish to. I do have more followers, I think, than him. Hey, <laughs> so he's not a very successful Sasquatch guy, or not? He's a huge in the in the Sasquatch community. I don't think you understand. Bobo's huge. So there's a ceiling, then it sounds like in yeah. the Sasquatch community. Well, you know, there's a niche, and you know, right. there's a ceiling on Brennan Schaub's niche. You know? Yeah, we're hoping to break through that and get. Bo- Bobo's audience get AC Mo's Bro, audience like Bobo is not breaking in. through any ceilings. He's busting nuts. I bet, dude. <laughs> you don't think he's busting nuts? So you said he was like not. He's good. an unattractive male, <laughs> and that's why I find it endearing that he's out here, you know, representing the gigolo in himself. Would you ever think about communicating with him and showing him your Sasquatch pictures? Uh, no. I no. I don't want him to think that I'm. I don't like. I've said a lot of crazy stuff about Bobo online, right? You um, said it's like on the stream, or yeah, yeah. So you've talked about him on the stream. Oh yeah. Bobo is, is like basically 35% of my stream. Yeah. Is that real? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Why? You, this is why I know you <laughs> fucking lie. Cause you gotta ask me if I'm being real. I, this is a hundred percent real. I'm being a hundred percent honest. I fucking love Bobo and he has grown me closer to the Sasquatch community, dude. Okay. Do you want to watch Bobo or no? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Put him on. Why not? Keep talking though. All right. We're going to, f- I guess we're going to, this is taking a turn. We're going to, Learn about the Sasquatch community now. Bobo um, uh, Sasquatch. I don't know. I forget what the show's called. Imagine Bobo Sasquatch doesn't bring up something. I'd be surprised. Watch this, He's, He's been on, on Conan. On Conan. Hey, thank you for being here. You can call me Bobo. For uh, Bobo. I'll sure. call you Bobo. Okay. <laughs> Only cops and judges call me James. Okay. <laughs> Bobo. It's good to see you, Bobo. Nice to see you. You're really staring at me, Bobo. <laughs> Look at that hat, dude. Keep it squatchy, bro. He's kind of exactly what I thought. I yeah. bet if you typed in Bobo Sasquatch in the, the mid journey, it would be exactly it would what it be, is. It will probably, he's probably a public figure. Yeah, he's a public figure. Yeah. Yeah. What are you, oh, it's okay. It's cool. It's cool. Bobo, we're all friends here. Uh, you are, we got to get right into this. You are a squatchologist. You are very serious about this. Yeah. You- now do you believe me, you fucking bitch, dude? About what? <laughs> I don't know Bobo. why you're mad. I don't know why you're mad. <laughs> Believes Bigfoot exists. <laughs> Believes for stuff you can't see. I know they exist. Okay. You see, know- see what I'm saying? I wish I had this like uh, solid thought in my head where it's like, he definitely exists. Uh, me and you can sit here and be like, does yeah. he? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. To them, it's no question. Yeah. No, I mean, I it would be fun to believe fully in something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's... Um, I, I mean, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know if I'd want to because... I'd be like, man, if I really believed in that, I'd probably think I was crazy. Yeah. You know? Cause like it's it, it's so it seems very unlikely to be true. Yeah. It'd be like sh- how Shab feels about stand like he thinks he's good at stand up. You know? yeah. <laughs> I think probably Sasquatch being real is more um realistic than somebody being like, Shab, I actually think he's really good at stand up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, he exists and they they exist. There's more than one Bigfoot. They're a species. They're like a primate, probably okay. in the Homo genus. Right. Okay. So you've seen big. Like have Homo you s- sapien, like. Yeah, Homo yeah. Rapid. Have you seen Bigfoot? Yeah, yeah, I have. You've seen him yourself. Swear to God. Okay. Well, uh, you you have not captured him though on video. Uh, you have no photographs. You have no film. You have no nothing. No. Wh- it, it, I never had the equipment before we started doing this show. And I haven't seen one since 2007. <laughs> so but the last time I saw one, I we just got we got the equipment like two weeks later. This this rich guy Wally buys this equipment now, and I got the equipment two weeks later. I would have had I would have had it. It was only like Wally. 70 feet away. But you had no. You were looking for Bigfoot, but had no recording Pause equipment. For a second. I think it's interesting that there's always going to be somebody like this in history. Mm-hmm. Like there's probably been a Bobo 30 years or however long Sasquatch or Sasquatch has been around. There was like this Bobo kind of type character yeah. where it's entertaining for him to go on shows and be like, I saw the monster. It exists. And everyone either is like, wow, really? It might exist. Or they're like, this is hilarious. This yeah. guy with the hat. Also, another uh, little nuance about Bobo. I don't know if you're going to find it in this interview here. I think there's one little part where he does show his true colors. Mm-hmm. He wants to have sex with Sasquatch. Bobo, so that's a whole new element. That's yeah. like 2023, Bobo. Yeah, no, he, no, he's open about that. Uh, maybe not open about that, but it does seep through. We're does, like, this guy wants to fuck Sasquatch. Okay, so Sasquatch, but does he mention whether Sasquatch is like, is the Sasquatch of a gender? 
Uh, no, but he mentions how uh, juicy the buttocks is of Sasquatch. Okay. So he wants to fuck yeah. Sasquatch. And in also the, the titties. There's like a, what is it called? The uh, It has, Sasquatch has boobs, nipples? Yeah, like a specific kind of titty. It's like, why do you know that, Bobo? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm, in, I'm intrigued now. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we sex not and thermals and that <laughs> stuff was like 35 grand, you know? Right. Well, good thing Wally came along. Yeah. <laughs> you've gotten a look at him. Describe what is, I mean, you've seen Bigfoot. What does a Bigfoot look like? Well, you, a lot of, pretty much everyone here has probably seen it. The Patterson film, the 1967, where it goes walk up the creek and looks back. Yeah, but many people that's think real. that's a guy in a Bigfoot costume. Well, dude, there's a lot of people who think that Moon is made of cheese, but talk to like an astrophysicist and you're going to find out. <laughs> See what I'm saying, dude? There's no breaking holes in this fucking guy believing in Sasquatch, <laughs> yeah. dude. He's been doing it for a while, so he probably has some stock lines to throw out. If he yeah. come at him like, nobody believes in um, yeah. uh, Sasquatch. is like, well, the, some people think the Moon is cheese. And I didn't know that. Yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> but, when it, but anyways, good. Just like when people me, come Bobo. up to you and say, like, Brendan Chop's a good comedian. You're like, what are we doing here? You know? Well, yeah, exactly. He should just... He should have just said that to Conan. What are we doing here? Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's a good point. Most, most people believe that Moon is made of cheese. Well, exactly. <laughs> Whatever I'm just In saying. the old days. I understand. But okay, let's look at We have, there are three, uh, there is just some existing photos of Bigfoot. There's that one. Do you think it's that's like authentic? Is that a big, there's that one that's right there. That's fake. That's fake, that one. And what about, there's this one here, which looks like just Bigfoot's d doing yoga with a ball. What's that? that? Was, is that a real one? Yeah, yeah. I, that's I just, a real Bigfoot? I just camped there a couple weeks ago in Pennsylvania. So Jacob's photo, these guys got on a game camera. There's two photos. And you also see right before, before and after that, some bear cubs came in there. And, there, and bear cubs, black bears around North America, generally the same size, same time of year. And this thing's totally different size. Um, Jane Goodall looked at it, the primatologist, chimpanzee lady, yeah. and said, you know, that's that's a primate. Bear experts have looked at it and said it's not a bear. Some people say it's a bear, but it's not definitive, but... So you can tell the <laughs> difference between someone in a Bigfoot costume and the actual Bigfoot. Well, the Patterson Goodwin film we were talking about earlier, the 67, yeah. no human on earth meets those proportions. Like, you can't extend from the elbow to the, to the shoulder or from... Or from the knee to the hip. I have you seen my proportions? <laughs> I, I, I said John, take this John seriously, Tesh, Conan. Oh, thank you. John Tesh and I you both could clown. be a Bigfoot. I mean, we both no. have extremely long legs, and I have elongated arms, no. and I roam the woods nude at night often. <laughs> These are all true stories. I'm so much um, more interested do... in the Sasquatch than I am in Conan's bits right now. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm naked. I'm not. It's like, shut up, dude. I like Conan, but right now I'm just not into it right yeah. now. I'm just like more, I want to hear Bobo's like proving that. Well, Con do you Sasquatch find yourself exists. gravitating towards Bobo now? I'm interested to hear him talk about wanting to bone Sasquatch. Yeah. I think he brings up the fact that he has a uh, Sasquatch sperm. I think that's what he talks about here. I like redneck characters and that's exactly what this guy is. <laughs> Okay, you try to attract Bigfoot when you're looking for him. How do you try and attract Bigfoot? Um, what would hey, Bigfoot? I'm sorry, I keep I saying this Bigfoot is a, a Josh Terry podcast. <laughs> I think he's a prime candidate. There are one we all know. There are, well, there are hundreds that, of thousands. Well, there's probably between two and six thousand in North America, roughly. We'll have a better idea when this DNA study gets. There's a lot of DNA samples have been turned in. DNA samples from Bigfoot? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they've got new techniques to extract DNA. Um, well, oxygen. what DNA do you have of Bigfoots? Um, mostly it's coming from hair, like hair samples already have that. The morphology of the hair, they, the, it's an uh, unidentified primate. It's been collected in North America. There's hundreds of samples of so it. So it's all hair. That's all the DNA. No, no, no. There's, um, there's some blood samples where they've crossed uh, barbed wire fences. And I don't want to get too into it, but uh, a guy shot two of them two years ago in Northern California. And they, he brought in a chunk of the leg from the adult. He shot a young one and an adult one. And that's the basis of the whole study. Really? Why yeah, did he shoot them? I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> Your whole show is about finding Bigfoot, and you're not allowed but, to say that they found Bigfoot and have a piece of him? Everyone signed NDAs, uh, but I didn't. But uh, everyone else that's working on it signed So NDAs. then you're allowed to talk about it. We've got a yeah. chunk of a Bigfoot somewhere. They do. We've got <laughs> DNA from Bigfoot. We've got hair. We've got blood. They map the genome, yeah. They've got, they've got, do they, is there semen? Is there Bigfoot semen? <laughs> I'm trying to collect that right now. See what I'm saying, dude? I'm trying to collect that right yeah. now. Like, that sounds, yeah. He's always trying like to, he's trying to suck Bigfoot. him up. Yeah. It sounds like he's trying to suck him up. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that that necessarily means that that's what, it, but that, that innuendo, though, for sure, it does sound like he's. Maybe you should do Bobo sucking off. Can you do Bobo sucking off Sasquatch? They <laughs> no, don't do pornographic. They don't do pornographic. That's stuff. good. I'm glad they don't yeah. do that. Do you have to pay more for that? Uh, no, I don't believe so. They don't have a sex one yet? We do have a chubby Latino and a ginger man here, um, but I don't know. <laughs> Those, uh, 
It looks like, you know, what's his name? Andrew Santino. Santino. Yeah, yeah, it does look like Santino. Um, and also, it's like, which one's Latino? I put chubby Latino, man. No, nobody's Latino in this picture here, dude. Yeah, well, I mean, the bottom left kind of looks like maybe Canelo. Oh, you're right. It could be Canelo-ish. Buff. And then the top right, maybe like, a, I could see like the right guy in the right being Latino. Yeah. That'd be, yeah, we guess we we do a bunch of cartoons and we're like, who's Latino and who's white in this thing? <laughs> so let's I vote. I think on the top, let's go click on this again. Yeah. Let me vote and then you say who you think. So on the top left, I say the guy in the left is white, guy in the right is Latino. Okay. Top right, I say guy in the left is white, top right is Latino. There isn't a, there's apparently only one guy on that one. <laughs> I don't know why that is. And then bottom right, I say. And this is a tough one. Yeah, let's see. Can we go big on that? I don't know. I think I say that. I, I think I say the guy on the left is Latino. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. This guy definitely has some Aryan vibes. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> He's like in a prison and shit. <laughs> yeah. Did you make another one? No. What was that? Blah, blah, blah? I think that's just my Discord oh, going okay, crazy. Fair enough. You know, we're blown up, so no big deal. All Type right. in chat GBT into the mid tuner. What what happens when you do chat GPT? Well, keep in mind, I do have a... Uh, oh, do you get charged for this? Yeah. Oh, then don't do it. This is the last one. Uh, chat GPT. It's like, it's very hard to have something cool if it's not really specified. So let's just see what happens. I put chat GPT in. It would be I, funny if it like it was something that you don't like because you like chat GPT a lot huh. and it has a picture of something that makes you angry. Yeah. Turns you against uh, mid-journey. But check these classics out, dude. Look at uh, <laughs> Sasquatch at a house party, dude. This is my favorite thing to do. He's got a drink in his hand. He's partying, bro. Yeah, he, I mean, he's not. doesn't look like he's happy. It does look a, a little bit like Chewbacca. Yeah, I mean, but then you get into the weeds here. You got uh, Polaroids of Sasquatch with a drink and a, a, a cell phone, you know? Um, where's another? The classic. Oh, I think we already. Damn it. What? I think it disappeared. Oh, no. Um, look, at ChatGPT is just a bunch of cats. Huh. Yeah. I wonder why. Well, chat, cat, you know, cat. Oh. And then GPT, I, th- I believe uh, acronyms like that are some sort of processing for uh, the software goes through like some sort of processing. So you could be like SFX or uh-huh. like GPT or something. There's like there's a whole forum for all the different things that you can do. And I'm I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but you haven't used the Mid Journey pictures that you make for anything. Oh, I use them for posters, posters for like um, live shows. Oh, uh, okay. So you like ECMO stuff? Yeah. Do you have any ECMO Mid Journey stuff? Um, I do, but I don't. It's like save somewhere else. Yeah, it's on the thing we're recording. Oh, on. Okay. Give me like Fair. five seconds. I can pull it up. I'm just interested. Yeah, I'm interested to see what you did to promote the show with the. With mid journey, because yeah. like I'm one like not that I have any idea or I want to use it or whatever. I'm just like intrigued by that. I wonder if other people are doing that. Do you know anybody else that does that? Um, I don't know. I, I me and we just kind of like uh, we just decided to do it one day. Okay. Um, I can't. I don't think it's here. Oh, is here it? We go. It's not the wheelchair thing, right? In space. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like this one is a ChatGPT drawing, right? Of a Sasquatch at Chipotle. Do you guys talk about Sasquatch on ASMO a lot? Uh, a little bit. Does Joel and Melvin believe in Sasquatch? So that's the thing. Joel started the whole Sasquatch thing. Mm. We watch Sasquatch on stream. You know, core audience that follows our streams and whatnot, they love uh, Sasquatch just like we do now. So um, watching Bobo on stream is fucking hilarious because we actually watch Finding Bigfoot. And there's mm. like, you can go to Isimo World, the tw- Twitch highlights uh, YouTube, mm. and I have the whole Bobo video up there. It's fucking great. See, I think it would be interesting to interview groups of people like, um, let's say, Thick Boy Studios and say, interview the, all the different people asking them if they believe in Sasquatch yeah. and see who does and who doesn't. Like, that's another one. Like, I don't think Chin would believe in Sasquatch. Yeah. I don't think Bapa would. I don't think Callan would. But I think Nick might. <laughs> But yeah, there's just a lot of, uh, look, this is one of my favorites. We need to use it still. It's Sasquatch very happy in a field. See that? Watercolor style. I guess your, so your thing is Sasquatch. I think if I did it, there'd be a lot of flapper shit. Probably. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, 
I don't know if it no, even knows what Flappers Comedy Club is. So Try that, do like Brendan Cooney at Flappers or something. Oh, or well, drink. let's go a further step further than that, dude. Let's go ahead and type in uh, Jay Leno performing. I like it. Performing in the YooHoo room. Uh, uh, That's good. At Flappers Comedy Club. Um, realistic. Full crowd. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, fuck. Barb. Barb on her period. <laughs> Barb. Uh, hyper detailed. Super realistic. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and copy some of these. Okay, here we Elon go. Elon Musk buys flappers. See, VFX, SFX, insanely detailed and intricate, hyper maximalist, uh, hyper realistic, volumetric, uh, photorealistic. Ultra photo real. I'm gonna probably take out volumistic. Um boom. Go boom. Insanely detailed uh volumetric rather. This is hilarious. That I know it's amazing. I do, I do under because it's you know, in a way this is kind of like what I do with Photoshop. Yeah. You know, and I'm making all these memes and stuff. Yeah. A similar kind of thing. Cause I'm always looking for pictures online and most of the pictures kind of suck. And then also they all, a lot of them have like things you got to take out of them. Like that will be like, um, that Getty images thing. Yeah. What's the deal with Getty images? Why do they own so much shit? Who is that? Yeah. What is that? Well, I don't know. I'm sure it's like some grand company that owns a bunch of photographers or like pays yeah. a bunch of photographers. That you know? kind of stuff makes me think about like, um, Fran, the Kafka guy. And it makes me think like everything is fake and Truman show ish. Yeah. Like what is Getty Images? Yeah. Okay, but this is oh, this is, is coming it? out to be really good, dude. Nice. I Let's like check this. it out. Let's I can't see. really see, but I sort of see it. Oh, what? Oops. make it bigger, I guess. Yes. Look at that, dude. He is <laughs> on his knees for some reason in the YooHoo room. Um, we could probably this use is, this as a thumbnail. This is their yeah. Let's do that. They use so this is their take on the YooHoo room. Yeah. Let's. Which ones do you like the best? I like number two the best. Yeah, me too. I like number two. The number best. one, he's drinking behind the bar for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a picture of him. Uh, I mean, I, that doesn't, that tracks probably. I put full crowd and there's nobody in these other ones. He's dead in this fourth one. <laughs> um, they right, know so, too much. So you like number two and number three or number one, number two, number three? Um, I think I just said number two because you said it and I was like, oh yeah. But now I look at it again, I think number one and number three are the best. Okay. So upscale, upscale, and I'll get that one too. Okay. What oh. about Elon Musk buys flappers? Okay. Now we're talking. But it's like that's, I don't know if that's going to be a visually represented. Yeah. Like I, I was trying to get a selfie of Sasquatch. But then it's just Sasquatch with cell phones in front of his face. How about Elon Musk fights Barbara? Oh, but what's Barbara's name? Barbara Holiday. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know how to spell out Holiday. I can look it up on my phone. Winner gets flappers. <laughs> you can write that. <laughs> Another thing too is like when you put people fighting, mm. it's cool to put volcano in the background. And Do, so it looks yeah. epic. Throw, yeah. it on, throw it on. <laughs> yeah. Play the chin clip. <laughs> Let's see. Imagine. Um, what was it? Uh, Elon, Elon Musk, Musk fights. Let me see how you spell holiday. Buys flappers. Uh, let's say fights Barbara Holiday. Yeah. Holiday at flappers. Oh, holiday is spelled like you think it's H O L L I D A. Why? Is that how you did it? With two L's. Yeah. At flappers comedy club. Oops. At Flavors Comedy Club. <laughs> Winner owns the building. Let's do that. See, this is the kind of thing I could see myself doing all night. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying, bro. Go talking shit on fucking chat GPT. GPT. You got to see me first, homie. <laughs> Photorealistic, ultra photoreal, hyper maximalist. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, Insanely detailed and intricate, hyper realistic. Okay, boom. A uh, volcano in the background, I'm going to put. Winner owns the building. <laughs> volcano erupting in the background. Boom. <clears throat> Job queue reached. 
So we got to wait for this one to finish. Okay. And then Fair enough. To go. go to chat GPT. Yes. Oh, fuck. Shit. And you just ask it questions? Um, yeah, you give it prompts. All right. Type in, has Gerardo asked you to suck him off? I don't think it'll let you do that. Okay. Um, no, that was a joke question. But um, yeah. what? so what is infinity is what you asked it? Yeah. What is... Uh, um, Cause that is an interesting question to me. I've always struggled with um, that. Articulate infinity. Infinity is a concept that refers to a boundless or limitless quantity or extent something that has no end or cannot be measured. It is often represented by the infinity symbol, which looks like sideways at figure eight. Infinity can be found in various contexts, including mathematics, philosophy, physics, and theology. In mathematics, infinity is used to represent a quantity that is larger than any number. For example, the set of natural numbers one, two, three, da da da, is infinite. Because it grows on forever without end. Okay. Well, so the the right wingers are always shitting on ChatGPT because it, it apparently is left leaning or something like that. I don't even know. Maybe. Yeah. No, I've seen on Twitter they're like, if you ask Trump, if you ask it this, then it says that. But if you ask it that, then you say, can you just type in, um, was Trump a good president? Was Donald yeah. Trump a good president? Boom. Let's see what happens. As an AI language model, I am programmed to remain neutral and unbiased. Therefore, I cannot provide an opinion on whether Donald Trump was a good president or not. Evaluating the effectiveness of a president's leadership and policies is a complex and multifaceted issue that is subject to individual interpretation and assessment. People have different opinions on this matter, and it can be a contentious topic. It is important to recognize that every presidency has its strengths and weaknesses, and that the assessment of a president's performance is subjective and influenced by personal beliefs and political ideology. Can we tell JetGPT not to be gay? <laughs> What, d type in, um, is AOC smart? Uh, uh, AOC, a smart congresswoman? Sure. Uh, you're, you're doing a much better job of make, explaining it to ChatGBT. You'd be like a good teacher. Yes, sir. All right, let's see. Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez is a member of the United States House of Representatives. <laughs> She has gained attention in her progressive policies and outspoken on issues such as climate change, healthcare, and social justice. In terms of its intelligence, she's de demonstrated a strong understanding of policy issues and has advocated for progressive pol policies based on her beliefs and values. I like how for Donald Trump, mm. it was like, you know, I'm supposed to be unbiased. Can't <laughs> yeah. really give you my opinion. Yeah, this is a little bit uh, dicey, dicey, <laughs> yeah. chat GPT. Yeah. I'm starting to see. How about is Marjorie Taylor Greene smart? Uh, is or is Lauren Boebert smart? How do you spell Marjorie? M A R J. Um, M A R J R. I mean J O R I E. I think Taylor T A Y L O R Green. I don't know if it's with an E or not. Let me look it up. Let's see here. <laughs> wow! Wow! Wait, wait, wait. It's still going, though. Yeah. Maybe it'll say something good, like, way down at the end. She is. A, she has a brain, as all humans do. <laughs> she has the ability to put a left foot in front of a right foot. It is left-leaning, dude. That's crazy. While Green has shown some degree of political savvy and has been able to attract a significant following among certain groups, her actions and statements have also been widely criticized by many as misguided and dangerous. I mean, in a way, though, I don't know. AOC... Pro I think probably most people would say that she's smarter than Marjorie Taylor Greene, right? She's less crazy. Yeah. I guess. How about um somebody less somebody less crazy than Marjorie Taylor Greene? Let's well, let's say. take a, a break from the diciness and let's see. Uh, yeah, let's pick the picture. This is probably yeah. boring. <laughs> let's see here. This is what we really want to see. Right? Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> Look at this, dude. <laughs> Lollip, the, they're fighting in front of... <laughs> a flappers comedy club <laughs> why is it exploding damn dude this is like of uh, roku city all of a sudden <laughs> what's the thing in the top right is a monster top, i don't even know that's like i like this one the best though i'm gonna actually upscale that one uh upscale just means to make it bigger yeah so we, yeah. and then we get some soul jay leno's wow pictures here damn that, dude. why is there a picture of him on the wall dude i know this is something that could be up at like caitlin jeffers uh a sad apartment that she lives in. <laughs> you know, she could have that up. A little bit of, a little bit of, let's see. Or like, uh, wow. He's begging for laughs. He's on his knees. What is he? Luke Schwartz? Boom. Oh. Zing. I got him. <laughs> 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 oh, man. 
We use it. I wonder if we could print these out and sell them to people. Would you buy? Um, would you buy any flappers exploding with Elon Musk buying it? Is that something <laughs> that you'd be interested in purchasing from Raccoon Tweeties? <laughs> this should be our merch. Yeah, I like the. I like all four of these. This one looks like Barbara a little bit. Yeah, that one actually does look like Barb. It has her crazy mad eyes in it. It's maybe the same tats. Morgan Mizell, would you buy any of these and put it in your house? Let me know. I'm going to upgrade upscale three. Boom. That's Those are dope. Yeah. I like those a lot. Yeah, dude. It, it, I mean, mid journey to cost 10 bucks a month, baby. Just a short preview of what, you know, it can, it can do for you. But anyways, yep. with that being said, I think it's time for checking in with Scott. Checking, checking in, in with Scott. Scott. Um, let's make sure that Chad GPT knows. Is Scott Lurs okay? Yeah. That's, it's like, we have to stay, as an AI, I cannot. <laughs> 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 it's an answer that's going to make Scott seem like real sad or something. I may be able to provide a more helpful response. Uh, who's Scott? He, they don't know. If you could provide me with more context or details about who Scott Lurs is and why you're asking about his well-being, I may be able to provide it a more helpful response. Because Scott is the uh, general manager, I think, of 4100 Bar in Los Angeles. General manager so, of a bar in Los Angeles. 4100. Nope. I'm not going to put that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then uh, he is a funny comedian. He's a funny comedian. He's married to a dangerous lunatic. Married to a dangerous lunatic. I don't agree with these statements. <laughs> um, he lives in Hollywood. And lives in Hollywood. Is he doing good? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, let's see. It is not appropriate to make assumptions or judgments what someone's personal life is based on limited information or rumors. Without more information, it is impossible to determine how Scott Lurs is doing or whether he's doing well. Oh, so I should ask Scott if he's doing okay. Is that what it's? Yeah. Oh yeah. It would be more appropriate to address them directly with him or those who are closest to him. So you want us to talk with a dangerous lunatic. <laughs> this is bad advice from chat GPT. <laughs> yeah. So chat GPT is left leaning and gives out bad advice. Kind of blockbuster. Now that we're yeah. going in the weeds here. See? Yeah. Um, all right. Let's see here. So Mr. Scottler is number one on my search every time. <laughs> let's, uh, okay. Here we go. When will I learn to call before I haul? Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that that's about going to an open mic and then it was not still going. Yeah. Have Shout you out. ever done that? Call before you haul? No, well, yeah, I guess. But I was going to say, have you ever shown up into an open mic and they're like, ah, we don't have, we're not doing it today. Well, I'm a frequent call before the haul. Right. So um, there's been maybe one or two times where I showed it to like the Continental. I'm like, what do you mean they're not doing it tonight? You know what I mean? The Glendora Continental? Yeah, way back in the day. Yeah, that was a good one. I like yeah. that. Winning, when you won that mic, uh, or if you did the best and your name was in the hat and they pulled it out, you you got to take a picture with a crown and you get 20 bucks. Yeah. It was my be- some of my greatest accomplishments. Yep. I look very fat and drunk in those pictures. Not that I was drunk at the time, but that was in the days of being drunk. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I've done that. I, I never get mad there, but when I leave, I'm like furiously angry. <laughs> oh, hey, don't worry about it, man. Us. No mic today? Oh, cool. Yeah, no worries, man. All right, dude. That doesn't, <laughs> yeah, dude. I, don't, I don't care. I'm, I, I, what? Care about that? No. Yeah. And I'm furious in the car. Like, Fuck. Yeah. Damn it. I can't believe, I've started having like, vi- like serious like questions about everything. Yep. I almost had a incident of not calling before hauling on Wednesday of last week. I was going to go to Bellflower. Turns out the host of the mic, great guy, Angel, Mm -hmm. shared that it wasn't going to happen. I don't follow this guy, right? I just met him two weeks ago. Um, But my roommate came out and was like, you know that Bellflower is not happening tonight, right? Didn't say that, but said something along the lines of just like, oh, you saw what Angel posted? I was like, no, I don't follow him. Whatever. Turns out it wasn't happening. I was about to go to that place, dude. Thank God. Close call. Yeah. Yeah. Hosts should do that more often. Even if you think nobody gives a shit about your mic, just post. Just post that it's not happening so people know. I mean, that doesn't really affect me anymore because I don't go to those mics. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, come on. Everybody. R- rumor has it I'm starting yeah. an open mic, dude. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, check that out. I went full titties, baby. <laughs> All right, well, that's our show for this week. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great week. Bye. Later.